Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Tonight I have a Dollar Tree DIY video to share with you. I'm going to be taking these four different wooden birdhouses from the Dollar Tree. They are in the Crafter Square section. I'll be using some glitter, paint, spackleting. Um, I end up using a hot glue gun, a couple of paint brushes, a tray to put my paint in, sandpaper, some wooden sticks, a tray to mix stuff in, and some of those little twisty hooks and some twine. Now, if you can't find the hooks at the Dollar Tree, I found these at Menards for 85 cents and you get 14 of them. I'm also gonna be using some of these dried flowers from the Dollar Tree. These are amazing. These are usually in a box on the floor or hooked onto an end cap. So be sure you check throughout your store. They have so many beautiful colors to choose from. They also had these um, wooden flowers and there's a different color red. And I might be adding some of these really cute green fuzzy stuff up there and some bells. Now a lot of this is optional, but hopefully I can give you some ideas. I'm also going to be taking these little wreaths that I took off these Christmas ornaments from last year and I'm going to dissect it just like that. So I have a little string of beads and some greenery and that's really easy to take apart. So here I'm just on twisting the beads off of there and you can always cut those apart and do other things with them on a different DIY even and straighten out the greenery. That's all you do. I'm also going to go ahead and cut some of these flowers and put them off to the side so they're all ready to go. You can keep the stems long or you can cut them shorter or you can just wait till you get to that point and decide on how you want it. But I like to do some of this ahead of time so it goes a little bit faster. Of course, I got to add some green flowers with the red because it's for Christmas. And by the way, these are amazing to use with resin for those that love to work with resin this is a huge score at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these little green thingy me doobers. And I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these twigs, which I plan on using these for like a pile of firewood or something. So I like to just give you all different kinds of ideas on how to use these other, um, these items from the Dollar Tree in a different way. Okay, so let's go ahead and start painting. So I've got my tray, I got my birdhouse, I'll be using the spiced berry red paint, which you can purchase at Walmart for like 50 cents, I do believe. And now it's just time to paint. Some of these paints aren't real thick so you might have to do two to three coats it just depends and I'm very particular on how I paint my items I'm just obsessed with doing everything correct I guess I even do the bottom I do underneath I don't like to leave anything untouched Now I'm going to be using this olive green paint and this was a huge mistake. Look how thin that paint is. I think I had to do three coats on using this green. So you might want to stay away from the olive green paint. It's pretty once it dries. So now that that part dried, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom. Now, again, this is optional, but I'm just weird and I like to have everything covered and complete. Now I'm using this gray color. It is called Elephant. I purchased this at Walmart for $1.37. Now you can use any kind of gray or again, you can use any color that you want. Again, I'm just trying to use different colors to give you different ideas. So now I'm going to do my green on the bottom there. Yeah, I just, I can't believe how much paint I had to use the green. 
Okay, so this is one coat of the red. I'm like, yeah, I can probably do another coat. Again, this is optional. And usually the second coat takes a little bit longer to dry because it has nothing really to soak in. So yeah, can you tell the difference? I don't know. See, look at that green. Oh, it looks horrible. It looks like baby poo. So of course, I got to do another coat. See, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just weird. Okay, so now we have all the colors. Um, I used some stain from the Dollar Tree. And so these are the colors we're gonna work with right now, but I end up doing some black and white as well. I took some of the sandpaper from the Dollar Tree, I cut them in half. And now, again, this is optional, but I like to age my wood. So very carefully, because if you push too hard, it will um, snap and peel, or I should say splinter. So I do that all the way around the house, on all the corners, all the edges, on the bottom, the little peg there, and I do a little bit into the hole as well. Now I did do it on the stain as well, but you couldn't really tell. Again, this is optional. These are very time consuming, but the end result are adorable. Okay, now we're gonna take our spackleting that I got from the Dollar Tree. Just take one of the popsicle sticks and just dip some out. Don't do a whole lot at first because it starts drying up and gets real thick. So just try to do a little bit at each time. I made, I think about 30 of them. So yeah, I did go through a lot. Just take some regular white paint, just dump a little bit in there, and take your stir stick and start stirring. Now if it's not um, thin enough, you can add more paint. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter and it accidentally went way too much. Again this is optional, but I just wanted to give the snow a little sparkle and again if it's too thick add some more paint so now it is time to start adding your snow to your house and as you can see I painted this one white now there's all different kinds of techniques so I'm going to try to show you how I do mine and then I pat it like that to give it some texture Now I just added some hot glue on the back of these little Christmas trees that are from the Dollar Tree. If I remember, I'll try to add a little snippet here. Um, all I did was cut the back so it laid flat. And now I'm just gonna add some of that spackleting there. Yeah, I want bigger clumps. Add a little bit more snow there on the side. Now I'm going to take some of my little dry flowers. Little long, so I'm just going to trim them there. You can use scissors. And now I'm just going to stick a little bit there in the snow. Yeah, still too long. Just gives it some color. Some of the green ones. All right, time for more snow. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the top of the house. Now you can put it on real thick, you can do thin. Now I'm going to take the paintbrush just to give it a little bit more texture than what the stick can do. Now 
Now you can do a lot of snow, you can just do a little bit of snow, you can put it all over the house. But I will be showing you here at the end on all the different kinds of houses that I've done. I spent close to 64 hours, I know, crazy, um, on all these houses. It is very time consuming, but again, they are super cute. I will be listing um, a, pretty much all of these on my Etsy. Um, I have not made it public yet. I will, at a later date, give you the information on that. So if you like to purchase some of these, you can. I also have another video I got to upload of doing these um, farmhouse pumpkins. I have fall ones and I've been working on some Christmas ones. So I'll be doing that one soon as well. Now I'm going to take some of these twigs, as I stated, and I'm going to put them there on top of the snow. No glue needed. And it's just going to look like a little pile of firewood. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of snow on the edge there. Put a lot of detail on my houses. Okay, on the back, I'm going to add a little bit of snow and put some more stuff back here so it's not so plain. Now I'm going to take another little Christmas tree from the Dollar Tree. I add a little bit of hot glue on the back there. Add a little bit of more snow. Now, if you live in Florida and, of course, you don't get snow, this would be really cute to do with sand. And you can put shells on it. That would be cute. Now, I'm going to take some of these beads that I showed you at the beginning. I'm going to trim off the bigger one here. I add a little bit of glue, and I'm going to put that right on the top of the tree. A little big. Looks like a clown nose, but oh well. And now I took, I'm going to take some of the teeny tiny beads and I'm just going to stick a couple of them on top of the snow, no glue, just to give it a little bit more color. If decorating tree was that easy and fast. Okay, so my spackling was getting a little dry, so I had to stir it up a little bit. Now I'm just going to show you some other ways that I did some of the other houses. I have these little beads from the Dollar Tree. I'm gluing them on there on the back and I spell out joy. And another Christmas tree. Again, you get these from the Dollar Tree. They have them in white, silver, gold, and green. Now I'm going to take some of these twigs and that from the Dollar Tree. They have little sparkles on there, like little icicles, kind of. Gotta add another tree. Now I'm going to take this little wreath and some more of those twigs and put them on the back of the house.
Now I'm going to take this brown one that I stained. Just having the snow go a little bit higher on the edge there. I have these wooden beads from Michael's. They have these on clearance. You got a big jar of them for only $5. So I spelled out joy again and added a little bit of snow on the side and top. Now I'm taking an old um, deck screw just to start a little hole there on the top so I can twist the hook on there a lot faster. I'm going to take some twine and if you want you can add a little bell you don't have to but I'm just going to show you that you can so I'm just threading the bell on there I'm going to tie a double knot there pull it tight and then cut the extra voila so now I'm going to show you most of the trees that are the birdhouses that I got done So again, there's endless possibilities. These will be so cute for your little ones to do. Just give them a bunch of different things they can add to their birdhouse. And that would be an adorable gift for their parent or grandparent. Here on the back, I'm showing you different ways that I've decorated them. I also did some stuff on the side of some of them as well. I would love to hear your guys' feedback on how you like these and if you plan on making any. If you like to see more videos of the DIYs, I would love a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos and the Dollar Tree, then be sure you stick around and click on to that subscribe button. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Wednesday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling.
Ah, 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 ah. 